everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Detroit Become Human. So, yeah, we just ended with Marcus's story and we left Mark or uh, Simon behind, unfortunately. So, let's continue. I have a feeling we're going to play... I want to say Kara. <laughs> I want to say Kara. I was wrong. <sighs> okay, so we're back here. Find Amanda again. She's there. I wonder if there's any other exploration that we could do here. Let's see. But yeah, I feel like with Amanda, we can never do something right. <laughs> I feel whatever we choose, uh, she's always unhappy about it. <laughs> oh, have we gone here before? Oh, this doesn't lead anywhere, does it? Does it? This place is so peaceful, guys. I really love it. Um, so she's all the way over there. I feel like this we explored pretty well. Okay. Let's just go here then. So I'm hoping we can better the relationship between Connor and Hank this time. I'm really hoping so. Oh, is she gonna go with the boat? I think she's in a boat, isn't she? Yeah, she is. Hello, Connor. I thought you might enjoy a little cruise. Of course I would. Of course. Let's go. We're gonna row. We're gonna row. Awesome. This place. Everything is so calm and peaceful. Far from the noise of the world. I really want to wear this disguise. Tell me, what have you discovered? I went to the Eden Club, but I didn't learn anything new. She's not going to be happy about this. Yeah. Yep. Looks like <laughs> another missed opportunity. You seem lost, Connor. Hmm. Lost and perturbed. Perturbed? No. Her responsibility goes up. She no, of likes course less. Not. Yeah, she doesn't want us to become a deviant. Why would course. I be perturbed? Why did do, whatever we do, her opinion of us goes down? I don't if like her at all. Investigation doesn't make progress soon. I may have to replace you, Connor. Conflicted, I feel. I understand. Look at that sovereign stability just going up and up, guys. Ooh, at least her opinion didn't go down this time. <laughs> like, are something we in some serious. sort of, like, mind palace or something? Where are we? Hurry, Connor. I don't feel like we're just in, running out. in the world. Or are we? I don't know. Are you in a simulation? But a coin again! Well, we're missing an option there, by the way, with Amanda. Me off with that coin, <laughs> Sorry, Lieutenant. You took our coin, Hank! You took our coin! Jeez. Oh, we're here! Hi, Hank. Oh, Shit, no! I'm going, going to see Simon! A party and nobody told me about it? <laughs> yeah, it's all over the news. Oh, God, so I'm going to see Simon, no. Even the FBI wants a piece of the action. Ah, Grace, now we got the feds on our back. I knew this was gonna be a shitty day. So what do we got? A group of four androids. They knew the building and they were very well organized. I'm still trying to figure out how they got this far without being noticed. Did you check the roof? Not yet. There's so much to look at. Mm. We have to make sure we check it out. They attacked two guards in the hallway. Probably thought the androids were coming to do maintenance. They got taken down before they could react. But they didn't die, so that's good. <laughs> Once
one of the station employees managed to get away. He's in shock. I'm not sure when we'll be able to talk to him. Hmm. Can we talk to him though? I wonder what How he many people were working here? Just two employees and three androids. The deviants took the humans hostage and broadcast their message live. Then made their getaway from the roof. The roof? Yeah, they jumped with parachutes. We're still trying to figure out where they landed, but the weather's not helping. If you want to take a look at the video broadcast by the deviants, it's on that screen over there. Listen to breathing. So we did that. Now we have checked the rooftop. Isn't there anything else you were able to do there? We can't investigate that at least, which is Simon's blood. Oh, Lieutenant, this is Special Agent Perkins from the FBI. Lieutenant Anderson is in charge of investigating for Detroit police. I feel like my, this might be a long one, I feel. What's that? I think we're going to have many my options and things to miss. I'm the and android <laughs> sent by Cyberlife. Androids investigating androids, huh? You sure you want an android? He looks like such a creep. Oh, he Everything makes me feel uncomfortable. Whatever. The FBI would take over the investigation. What if a date was that at hand? Pleasure meeting you. Have a nice day. And you watch your step. Don't fuck up my crap scene. Jesus. What a fucking prick. I highly agree with you, Hank. I'll be nearby. If you need anything, just ask. All right, well, let's have a look around. Let me know if you find anything. Many things here. Okay, Lieutenant. <laughs> Please don't like how I see it. <laughs> Fresh blue blood. Report of missing. Yeah, of course. Deviant hack the broadcast. There was something else here. There. Possible complex? Deviants didn't break in. They didn't break in? No, no signs of forced entry. There are cameras in the hallway. The staff would have seen what was happening. Why did they let them in? Maybe they didn't check the cameras. But I'm very conflicted now, guys. Like, do I want to do a good job as Connor? I don't want his, like, friendship with Hank to go down if I don't do a good job. But we stored the station androids in the kitchen. There's no evidence that they were involved. I also don't want to catch them. Of we course. didn't know what else to do with them. There's so much to do. We ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life. And now the time has come that for you to something give to us you, I think that's RA-9. Deviants say RA-9 will set them free. This android seems to have that objective. Does it do anything with you? Two different eyes, yeah. Blue iris, spare parts. Pupil reflection. Deviant had accomplices. Oh, look at that. Huh, you can see a reflection there? That's so cool. Registered as Marcus. Gift from Elijah Kemsky to Carl Manfred. Huh. You see something? I identified its model and serial number. Anything else I should know? No. Nothing. Hmm. Hank doesn't trust us? He looked very suspicious of us just now. So let's see. Let's check everything here. Capstone maintenance uniform asylum assailants were disguised. Access. We're gonna go there later. We also have something here, didn't we? Turn around for it. Then 
we have this here, which is gunshots. Bullet holes, holes, weapon, assault rifle. Yeah, we know who that was. Fresh blue blood. Yeah, same model of course reported missing. Check broadcast room. We should do that. I don't know exactly where the broadcast room is. Or is this this oh, this is the broadcast room. So that just means we haven't completely checked it yet. Space was shot from yeah. So, possible accomplice, interrogate Andres in the kitchen. So where's the kitchen? Is that here? Yeah, looks like a kitchen. I don't think we have a timer here, so I think we can just read this. Bleeding Blue, how Cyberlife created a, techn a technological revolution. Space tourism, is Mars your next holiday destination? Want a magnet that could scrub carbon something. <laughs> I went too fast. After decades of Android designs that were primitive, robotic, and expensive, Cyberlife revolutionized the industry through innovation of their CEO and visionary Elijah Kamsky. Okay, so Elijah Kamsky is the CEO of Cyberlife now, and he gifted Marcus to uh, Carl, right? Am I understanding that correctly? Ethereum 310, the chemical name of blue blood, which is a trademark, is a compound vis uh, vital to the functioning of all CyberLife androids, circulating energy and electrical information throughout the machine's body. I like how body is in like quotation marks. This fluid powers biocomponent synthetic organs that roughly reflect the organ system of humans. Some of these organs serve important functions, maintaining temperature, circulating blue blood, and so on. Where others are used to make the android seem more human, lungs to stimulate breathing, as with humans, the loss of blue blood will impair an android's functions, ultimately resulting in shutdown. Blue blood is essential for Cyberlife's android's key selling point, how human they seem. That this wonder chemical, both the power supply and a way of regulating the android's internal systems, was developed by one man who isn't even a trained chemist, only furthers the myth of Elijah Kamsky. Mass forest fires expected in California, Arizona, and New Mexico. Green Earth. Clean food grades. Detroit Urban Farms is changing the way we eat. Miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters. Oh my god, wow. We need that here in the Netherlands as well. <laughs> America's urban centers all face two growing problems. Unemployment and lack of access to healthy, low-calorie food. But Detroit Urban Farms, a pilot scheme in Michigan's uh, capital city, may find a solution to both. DUF is an urban initiative that takes city dead space such as high rooftops and unused courtyards and turns them into GM-free farmland. These farms are then staffed by urban unemployed offering decent wages and supervisory roles to people who might otherwise turn to welfare or crime. I mean, that all sounds great. I love when there's something positive in there. Because all of it is mostly negative. <laughs> all food is grown without pesticides or other chemicals and organic produce that results in sold through specialist organic retailers. And with obesity in Detroit at record highs, more greens on the plate can only be a good thing. See, this makes me wonder though, because they say that it's all grown uh, without pesticides or other chemicals, so I wonder what they use then. So, you have multiple ways to go about it, but immediately my, my mind jumps to like, okay, are they GMO products then? But, yeah. Hmm. When brothers Daniel and Parker Trent started the initiative five years ago, they couldn't even get funding. We went to every bank in the city, but nobody would lend us enough for a shovel. Now DUF employs over 50 staff supervising hundreds of androids. We get requests every day from investment firms offering us capital, but we'd rather stay independent. The ethical side of what we do is very important to us. If it means fewer unemployed and better quality food on the table, who could object? Yeah, definitely. Well, let's talk to these androids. Interrogate. Whew. Interrogate. I wonder if they want to help us. 
Look for a reaction to spot the deviant. State your model. Model GB300. Serial number 336-445-581. What is your function? I am a broadcast operator. Um... Memory? Has anybody accessed your memory recently? Not to my knowledge. Contact. Have you been in contact with any other androids recently? Only station androids in the normal course of my function. Run a diagnostic. Oh wow, look at that. All systems fully operational. Were you present when the Deviants broke in? I do not remember. He doesn't remember? One of you saw the attack on the surveillance cameras and said nothing. Which means there's a Deviant in this room. And I'm going to find out which it is. Oh, Connor. Oof. Yep. Why should you all be destroyed if only one is Deviant? Turn yourself in, or two innocent androids will be shut down because of you. Jeez. Threaten? You're going to be switched off. We're gonna search your memory and tear you apart piece Oh my god, Connor! Okay! Take it easy! Take it easy! Take it easy! Oh my bad! Jeez! I don't think that's the one. We if you give yourself up, yet. maybe I can convince the humans not to destroy you. I feel like it's either the middle one or... Let's probe this one's memory. There's this one still as well. Love? The deviants have just been caught. They gave you up. There's no point in lying. You know everything. Oh my god. I'm not going to be violent or torture anyone. Do I not have a choice? I guess... Ugh. Jesus! Bio component eight Jesus! What, do I not have a choice? Regulates the heartbeat. Did I screw up so much that I need to do this now? Exactly 63 seconds. I could put it back. But you just have to tell me the truth. Are you the deviant? I don't. Why? <laughs> Can I not leave? It's this one. He suddenly you looked scumbag. to us. scumbag! I know it's you. You're just a fucking deviant. Go on, admit it. It's him. He suddenly looked at us. The other ones just looked straight. I failed. I failed. Oh. I don't understand what just happened. <laughs> Guys, this was very confusing. Okay, well... Shoot. I failed. All the options seem so weird to me, though. And that they, at some point you didn't really have a choice anymore in what to do. Wait, was there something there? 
Yeah, there is. Okay. Let's explore this. Fresh blue look. Yeah, same one again. Back to broadcast room, check the rooftop. I don't want to check the rooftop yet though. Let's see if there's something more back here. I'm not sure if we can go here, but let's see. Yeah, there is. Okay, awesome. Same blue blood again. Yeah, this is the spot where Simon was shot. I want to see a little bit more here. If there's anyone I can talk to, so anything I can do. Okay, doesn't look like it. Well, at least we found some things here. I'm happy about that. At first, you couldn't screw up too much when we started the game, but now <laughs> I can screw up so much. Yeah, the incident was captured. We know that. Anything else here? I think we did everything here as well. I wonder if we did everything in the room now, though. It doesn't say yet that it's completed. So maybe we can talk to these people here still? Or maybe not talk, maybe there's something to see here. Yeah, there is bullet holes. Again, the assault rifle. Yeah, we didn't shoot once, I think. Did we? Okay, now we inspected the whole broadcast room. Awesome. So we go to the rooftop. <sighs> Is Simon going to be there? I'm really scared of that. And Connor seems quite ruthless at the moment. He seems to really be ready to, to throw some stuff around. <laughs> and I don't... don't want to do that. Not to Simon. Made their way up through the whole building, past all the guards, and jumped off the roof with parachutes. Pretty fucking impressive, I'd say. Analyze. Are we we locked it? Wireless security lock recently hacked. Yeah. Yeah, hack the door to block it. They still came in really easily though. Open the door? Why? Oh, I don't want to leave. Oh no, no no! God, did I do the same freaking thing again? I accidentally left? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Come on, let me get to the roof. Jesus, don't tell me! Hank, please! Move around a little bit. Hank! Please, Hank! What the? We still need to go to the rooftop. Hank! Walk around! Please, for the love of God. Let's go into the kitchen again. Maybe that will help. Oh no! How can one person screw up so much? <laughs> but it still says we need to go to the rooftop. Oh no. I want to get through. walk this way now and hope that Hank will start walking around as well. The last time he didn't come in here with me as well.
Why does he block the door? Can I really just not... Like, I can't even continue. There's nothing else I can do except go to the roof, but I can't go to the roof. Oh, he moved. <gasps> Thank God. He moved. What's he doing? Is he using my coin? <laughs> He's trying to do the same thing. Oh my God. The look at that's so freaking cute. Wait, wait, wait. Can I talk to him about it? Oh, we can leave. No, 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 no. That's so freaking cute. Oh my god. <laughs> He's trying to imitate Connor. Okay. Thank god. Thank god. And now I know leave means leave. <laughs> that doesn't mean move on. <laughs> Let's not open any doors anymore. <laughs> Where did he go? What did he do? Demon left behind? Full of blue block traces. Yeah, I will do that. But I also want to analyze all the other things. How'd they manage to smuggle in a big bag like that? They didn't. Someone brought it in for them. Oh, that's strange. They planned a perfect operation, but got the number of parachutes wrong. Mm -mm. Come on, Unless Hank. one of the deviants yeah. was left Yeah, use your brain, Hank. They planned the whole thing, but they, <laughs> they miscounted? No, 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 no. <laughs> Fat for maintenance would bear standard issue, partially covered by snow, but it was recent. Only three deviants joined, yeah. Now the question is, do I actually want to find Simon? Tower security issue. So did we do everything else here that we can see from here? I think so. <sighs> I guess we gotta try to- oh, he locked me in. <laughs> I guess we gotta go try to find Simon. Just wanna explore a little bit more here. Oh, there's blue blood here. Can't save it, it's too late. We'll just get ourselves killed. That was probably the wrong decision to make. I just don't want Simon to die. <gasps> no, Simon. Connor! Connor, are you alright? Connor! I'm okay. Are you hurt? Oh. I'm okay. Jeez. This oh, game! This the shit out of me. For fuck's sake, I told you not to move! Why do you oh, never do what I I'm say? I'm sorry, I'm sorry, yeah. It was connected yeah. to its memory. When it fired, I felt it die. Oh, Connor, oh. Like I was dying. Oh, Connor. I was scared. Oh, look at the red. I saw something in its memory. Oh, a word Connor. painted on a piece of rusty metal. Jericho. Oh, a glimpse of Jericho, achievement unlocked. Look at this. Deviant not found. I uh, I screwed up so much there. Look at all of this. If I would have found it. I don't know what I did wrong in the investigation though. <sighs> Sovereign stability is still question mark. Hang friend and then not trusted. So wounded during Stratford Tower. 
but we missed two things. And we checked the CCTV and we still missed two things? I'm very confused. I really felt like we... Investigated quarters. I really felt like we explored so much. Oh, this is... No, I don't understand. Okay. Here we got everything. Except one thing. We missed one thing. How? No, two things. We missed two things. How? I tried to be so thorough. So... This is probably the leave option, I'm guessing. And then here, look at all of this that we could have had. Oh, I feel so bad, guys. I'm so sorry. I don't know how, what I should have done to make that work. Mm, I'm so sorry. So here we also missed something else. Brush Deviant. So two things. Flash from Simon's memory and Simon's self-destructs. If I didn't do that, would, would Simon have survived? Oh, I want to know every outcome now. There's so many different outcomes that, like, in every chapter, I just... Connor was traumatized. Jeez. I don't know what to think about that. On the one hand, I feel so bad for that. But on the other hand, I want Connor to, to become more unstable. I want Connor to, you know, kind of see the light, I guess. He also deserves to be free, and... And I do feel like the traumatized part might help with him understanding how it is to be a deviant. And... <sighs> Jesus. This game makes me feel so much, guys. <gasps> oh, and I keep feeling like this is not... I, I am a person with a lot of anxiety, okay? And I always want to do the right thing. Always. And I hate screwing up and I hate missing things. So this game is, is a true test for me. Like... Now I keep feeling like, oh my god, I screwed up again, and I screwed up again, and I screwed up again. It's, it's, it's difficult for me. But at the same time, I'm absolutely loving the experience. I'm hating it, and I'm loving it. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. If you are, please like and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!